There's a lot of debate about whether going to film school is the way to go. And I can't really dissuade anyone from going who has the resources to be able to go to film school. But in many cases, the job market is so tight these days that people who go to film school ultimately end up getting jobs in certain upstream aspects of production, or they end up working in a studio. People who don't have the resources to go to an elite film school should not despair, because there are so many resources out there these days that can literally provide film school in a box. There are books like <laughs> The Real Truth, Everything You Didn't Know You Need to Know About Making an Independent Film. And then there are also really compelling DVD commentary tracks where you know directors that they have a passion for explain how certain shots were set up and how certain films were made. It's almost enough to create your own film school by just reading magazines like Filmmaker, by watching enough DVD commentary tracks, and by plunging yourself into it. The only difference between a Starbucks barista and a director is somebody who has the passion to go for it and get their film made. The only difference between an aspiring dreamer and an actual filmmaker, or a filmmaker, is somebody who has the passion and the drive and the knowledge to see it through. These days, the tools of production are really within easy reach of just about anybody. You only need the $10,000 that Werner Herzog suggests you raise in The Real Truth. So pretty much anyone can go to their local Best Buy and find a high-end camera or go on to bnh.com and get the gear they need to tell their story. And they really only need the passion and the perseverance and the knowledge to avoid some of the pitfalls and landmines that I talk about in the book to realize their dream. So today, anybody can be a filmmaker. And it shouldn't stop anybody, regardless of where they live, regardless of the, the, the people they know or the, the money that they do or don't have, to be able to realize their project. I think today in this internet-focused culture, networking is not as important as getting your content out there. So the important thing is focusing on the financing, getting your project shot, and then getting it to a site like Filmmaker that can help connect aspiring filmmakers with the Hollywood community. One of those myths that people need to realize is that they need to copyright their intellectual property. They need to register their screenplays with the Library of Congress, not just with the WGA since it's cheaper, but actually to register their material with the Library of Congress, every single draft that's going to be passed around. A lot of filmmakers come to Hollywood and they get jobs in the film industry or they get jobs in restaurants thinking that they'll run into their favorite actor or their favorite director and they'll be able to palm a copy of their script on that person and that that will be the bridge to getting their film made. And that is a disastrous approach to making an independent film. As it turns out, if you hand your screenplay to somebody on the street or in a cafe or in a shopping center or anywhere in a public place, you've pretty much just lost your script. Because there's no way to prove that that person received it. And in many cases, they can make use of some of the best dialogue that's in the screenplay or some of the best ideas in it. And the screenwriter will have no recourse because they can't prove that that person ever received it or saw it. A lot of people move to Hollywood and they get a job in a restaurant or they get a job in some downstream aspect of the film industry because they think it'll give them an opportunity to run into their favorite director or their favorite actor and then palm a copy of their script on them. And this is something that I discuss in The Real Truth that's very important for all filmmakers to know, for screenwriters, for directors, and aspiring producers, that you cannot palm a script on somebody in a public place. And the reason is because you have no proof that they received it. A receipt in a restaurant or at a, at, a, at a coffee shop is not proof that a screenplay changed hands. And if you can't prove that that person got a copy of it and saw it, you are essentially giving them license to use some of the best ideas and some of the best dialogue in the script.